The latter, by the way, is what inspired me to make the um, phase shift thing. I thought, well, the filter is a whole string of transistors, two rows of them in series, and you vary the current and therefore the gain, and you connect it around a feedback loop. Well, lo and behold, you have a voltage-controlled filter. Well, I looked at it and I said, I would like to make a variable delay, short delay, not a big bucket brigade type thing. So I looked at that ladder filter and I said, gee, if you change the configuration of the transistors so that picture two of them at the top of the row, collector going to the supply, bases, in this case I made a change, I crisscross wired the base of one to the collector of another all the way down this ladder. I had tried it from two to 20 stages. I found that it was very stable and in mathematically analyzing it, it turned out that the base current, small as it is, they canceled each other because of this crisscross connection. So it maintained the gain and therefore the filter point when you, it, it makes a short delay, maybe up to a millisecond, but if you connect it around a feedback loop, now you have alternating peaks and dips, which you can vary across the whole audio range. And that's what turned into that phase shifting thing. 